history's original heavy metal, unearthed from a dark underworld, and processed by an arsenal of machinery. 18 pounds will start your car, and a tiny particle will unlock secrets of the past. It protects, but it also isn't. And it's the key to making majestic music. Now, the untold story of lead on Modern Marvels. There's a good reason the world produces nearly four million tons of lead every year. We find it just as useful as our ancient ancestors did, who revered it as the father of all metals. Today, over 600 million drivers around the world depend on it every time they turn their ignition keys. An astounding 80% of all the lead we use ends up in lead-acid batteries. The battery under your hood consists of cells containing lead plates. Each plate is comprised of a lead grid and a lead oxide paste coating it. The plates, half of them positively charged, the other half negatively charged, sit in a bath of sulfuric acid. The acid causes a chemical reaction in the lead, creating electric current. To reduce manufacturing costs, most car battery makers use recycled lead and lead alloys that contain hardeners like calcium for their grids. These substances contain impurities that make the lead corrode faster in its harsh acid environment, which eventually causes the battery to fail. Enersys Energy Products in Warrensburg, Missouri makes a longer lasting, more reliable battery. And the secret ingredient is virtually pure lead. This is 99.99% pure lead. From here to the end of this row represents one truckload of lead. So this is 2,500 pounds right here. You don't get very much on a truckload. Enersys pure lead batteries are designed to provide the ultimate independability. The kind hospitals and communication networks use during power outages. But the company also makes one you can put under your hood called the Odyssey battery. The pure lead, however, is just one reason why it's a cut above. The lead plates made here are just over one millimeter thick, up to five times thinner than those in conventional car batteries. A thinner plate allows Enersys to fit more plates into each cell, and that can make a huge difference. More plates mean more surface area, more surface area on the plates means that it's able to deliver more energy faster and that means more reliability in starting your vehicle. The plate making process begins with one ton blocks of lead called sows. These sows will be transferred into our melting pot at 500 degrees C and then the melted lead will be used to form battery grids. Once the molten lead hits this rotating drum, which is slightly cooler than lead's relatively low melting point of just 621 degrees Fahrenheit, it quickly solidifies. Reel after reel, each holding 1,700 feet of lead, wait in line for the punch that will form the grid. The material here is passing through a reciprocating die, which is punching holes at about 500 strokes a minute. It comes out the other end as a clean punch grid. If it didn't have holes, there'd be no room for the active material. The active material, the lead oxide paste that will coat each grid, is applied further down the production line. So paste is being dropped from the pasters, which are above us. They're coming through this tube system, and they're being applied to the grid so that you have a layer of grid with a layer of paste on top of it. It then goes into the roller where a sheet of pasting paper is applied. The purpose of the pasting paper is to prevent the lead from becoming airborne later on as the plates start to dry and the lead oxide becomes a powder. Next, the plates are cut, weighed, and flattened. Then, after curing for several hours, they're encapsulated into individual battery cells. 
but still more lead is necessary to complete them. Robots dip each cell into a shallow pool of molten lead. There, tabs protruding from each plate fit into steel molds. Within 15 seconds, the molten lead solidifies. This lead connects each plate to the next, ensuring that electric current can pass between them. Finally, the cells are welded together into a single battery. Machines inject the sulfuric acid, and the battery receives its first charge. The higher reliability batteries that we provide, even though they do cost a little more, it does increase the reliability of your vehicle.